Okay, so right now we are going to be talking about citing sources on Noodle Tools. So I have my source, which you can see right in front of me here. Um, I'm going to pick the first one. And I am on a database, which we should usually use when it comes to finding good, credible sources, as we talked about in class. So I have my source. Now I'm going to go over to Noodle Tools. There we go. I've already got some of my sources here. So I'm going to create a new citation. I'm going to start with the drop-down arrow. This came from a database. So I'll create the citation. It'll take me to the next step. I need to check out my source here to see what it comes from. Oh, let's see here. Source, American Behavioral Scientist. Okay, so a good indicator for this is to check this out. This sounds like the title of a journal, and that's kind of backed up by the fact that there's a date a volume and an issue and a bunch of page numbers that are really high up that is pretty typical for a journal so I'm gonna click journal there we go so now here comes the tricky part is filling in the information so what's tricky about this is knowing where to find the information as well as knowing what information is vital here is the thing guys when we're using databases there's a really neat shortcut we can use we can go over to copy and paste citation quick cite and it's going to let us copy and paste an already done citation right into the box. See, this is why it's nice to use our databases, because, as you can see right here, we have a cite option, and it gives us all kinds of citations. We're using MLA, so I'll scroll down to MLA. I will copy the citation, I will go back to Noodle Tools, and all I have to do is simply paste. So the things I'm, gonna, I'm going to want to look out for now are to make sure that there are no weird spelling issues or anything that's messed up that I'm going to want to fix right now. Um, sometimes with these journals, they will capitalize all of the authors or they'll capitalize the entire title. That is an incorrect M MLA uh, citation. So I would just want to lowercase that in this instance. So if this is all capitalized, I would want it to look the way it does now. Um, we can most of the time ignore this stuff because the publication date is already in there for us. So I will submit, and here it is, looks like I, <laughs> I created it twice. But anyway, that is just a really nice quick way to have a nice, accurate MLA citation. So now in order to start making no cards, all that I would need to do is head over to New, right there, and there we go, I can start typing away. And that's really all there is to it.